Okay, hi everybody. Say hi. Wait, there I am. <laughs> oh, my bad, it's my test subject. We are going, I'm going to do a video today of Kathy. You have to lean this way, Kathy. The bestie. I made her come down and do this with me. She's going to put makeup on at my direction. But, but you know how you always see, like, other people put makeup on you? And then you get home and you're like, I don't know how the hell to do that. And while we're doing that, we're going to go over what color looks best. We, we have... You can look, look, iceberg dead ahead. There it is. She don't have any makeup on people. She all flipped out about it. What was she doing, by the way, while I turned this on? I was looking at a tablet. I didn't know you got a tablet. I got it last year on Black Friday, $29. Stood in line for two hours and 45 minutes for a $29 little tablet. Today's the first day I've used it since last year. Okay, had to have it. As you see, if you guys can see behind me, let me show you my new table that, that I put out while we're waiting. This is my little Gucci table. Isn't that cute? I haven't got the back done yet because I can't figure out how to do it. Kathy said to sew it on there. And... Okay, so while you're doing that, we're going to go over a couple things. I have been asked to go over what colors look best and how do I know what skin tone or undertone that I have so that I can pick out colors. The best way that I can tell you to pick out undertone is this and not in your house. You have to go out into or in the window or whatever. You have to be in really good natural light. You know, Kathy, hold your arm up there. Look on the underside of your arm, forearm, and what color the veins is on your underarm, forearm here, will determine what color your, um, undertone is so like mine is more blue as you can see but I do have some green so that would make me a neutral hers is more green only so that makes her warm now if we had one over here that was more blue only that would make a cool got it green warm blue cool mixed janked up anyway so but I what I did was I put I saved it so that I could show you. Is it supposed to get tight? Yes. It, it, this helps a little bit, I think. I don't know if you can see it. I'll do it pretty close. Okay, as you can see. The one that's all blue is cool. The one in the middle has blue and green veins and it's neutral. And the one on the, the other side, I don't know which side left, I guess, that has warm is, or has green is warm. Kathy is a warm person. I am a cold person. Cold hearted snake. Really Paul, if you want to get up and dance. <laughs> okay. So like for Kathy, for instance, who falls into the warm category, um, they dominantly have yellow, and you can kind of see the yellowness. They have yellow or golden skin tone, and um, their veins are green. So whenever she goes to like Sephora or even to Walmart, she wants to try to find a foundation that has more of a yellow tone. As you can see, here's Pure. It's from, from Kohl's. It has a yellow tone. MAC. See how golden it is? But see, like for me, I can go both ways. <laughs> ah! Oh, back in college days, I probably, uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, I can go to like peaches, or I can even go to white. So I kind of benefit for that, but she can't because what happens is if she puts on, if she was to put this on, she would look ghostly. It would be embarrassing, and she wouldn't ride in the car with me. Fuchsia lipstick. And fuchsia. Oh, oh, people, fuchsia. Oy. Anyway, but if you have blue, if you have blue um, veins, then you want to stick with pink or beige foundation. So, if, like I say, the the one that looks more pinkish. I just had it in my hand, like this one. The pink or beige. You want to stick into like. So this is Clinique. Clinique would be good for you. Um, some some of the max would be good too, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then if you have olive, bless you, because I 
envy you so much. I want olive skin tone. You are, you can have any color you want. You can do whatever you want, actually, because you are pretty. Um, anyway, uh, more of a rose colored would look it for you. And Sephora would be yours with the Sephora NYC at Walmart. It's like three bucks. It matches Sephora really close. Okay. So, got that out. Anybody have any questions? Meaning you, because I can't hear them. Write it in the comment section if you have any questions. I don't think you should have any, but that's beside the point. Kathy, one of her, what we just did was we tried, it's called Sudden Change. And it's that stuff that made my, in a previous video, I tried it. Can you feel it? Yeah, feel it down through here. Oh, it's hilarious. Okay, so what we want to do, she has some pores she wants to try to fill in. So as we all know, to me, that's just a hole that needs to be plastered. So think about if you are doing drywall, if you have a hole in your wall, you can't just stick a picture over it, you bunch of lazies. You got to put something on there to make it smooth, okay? So what I'm going to have her do, we're going to do more of a drugstore. I mean, we have all kinds of crap laying here, but it's hard candy. Um, priming perfecting uh, primer first so go ahead and put that on just like you would lotion just all over yourself face Kathy all over your face and wise to her anyway so while she's talking about that um, people now if you're determined your undertone now we need to determine your skin shade and it's pretty fair, it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, in natural light, you have four different skin shades that you can be. One is fair, one is medium, one is olive, and one is dark. So, I myself am fair skin tone, or I do cross over sometimes to the medium. Again, <laughs> I mean, you know, but, but no, I can a lot of these a lot of these makeup manufacturers they don't put a lot of pigmentation in their makeup and so what happens is like I can wear a lot of the mediums Kathy is a darker medium to almost a, a light dark um, and she almost could probably wear olive too because that's in between there so okay so she got that on there so what we want to do is we're old school and we like to wear our concealer under our foundation because well we are like from the 80s you guys see this cramped hair today <laughs> so um she's gonna put on mac and you're gonna put mac on and it's easiest if you put it on with a brush but you don't have to but i find that it's easier to put on with a brush anyway. here is a concealer brush segment we we'll let you use a little little one and um, you put it on the back of your hand and what you want to do is just dip it in there and you want to go under your eyes like a triangle so you want to come down the ridge of your nose and then end up at the corner of your eye and then fill that all in exactly and then go all the way up there and then you can fit and do the do the other side as well Here's a, yeah, that's fine. Then you take a beauty blender. She asked what this was the other day, people. I thought I was going to fall out the car. You take a beauty blender and you dab it, push it in. Easy, easy. Don't have to hurt yourself. But, I mean, I'm glad that you're here doing that because, believe it or not, people, when you're over at your house, when I say push it in there, you know what I mean? They're all, like, doing the same thing. But see how that's blending that in? The more blending, the better. I promise. That looks great.
anyway, okay, so pe um, people with fair skin, um, you have an actual color palette that you should stick with while she's doing that, putting that in there. Um, you want to, and I have a, a print here. You have a color palette, and as you can see, you will look good with baby pinks, with white peach, with nudes, um, golden something. I can't see that from here. Golden, golden brown. Then with the medium skin tone, you would look good with the darker pink, with the reds, the apricots, and the orangey peaches. So I'll leave it set here just for a minute so that you can look at it. Find your skin tone. Find your color. Find your skin tone. Oh, she's done. Okay. Now what we want her to do is we're going to use MAC because she used MAC concealer. I like to stick with the same product line. I can't help it. Okay, so she's going to do the same thing. What she's going to do is she's going to put this on the back of her hand. Then she is going to, she's going to need quite a bit of this because she's going to do this. Okay, so you can we went over the undertone, we went over your skin um, tone, you, and now we are going to go over their eye color, okay? So for every eye color, you also have a coordinating color that, that makes your eye color pop. What this actually boils down to is this, people, the, the basic color wheel that we learned in like the fourth grade, if you have uh, primary colors, if you have blue eyes, whatever is on the complete opposite of the color wheel is going to make those the blue in the blue eyes pop. So it's the opposite of your color. So if you have green, the reds um, and peaches will make your eyes pop. If you are fortunate enough to have like hazel, you have a more broad spectrum of colors that look good with your eye color. Um, if you have browns, then of course it's the violets and the periwinkle colors. And um, But that doesn't mean when I say if you have green to wear red. That just means you want to wear red family. So like right now is your, your time of the year because it's Thanksgiving, it's fall, and fall colors are, are really um, abundant. Like I have, I have blue eyes and I have on rust eyeshadow right now. And so it makes my blue of my blue eyes more prominent. So green, you um, you are fortunate because green. I'm gonna put this over. Green gets to chew, gets to wear copper, and I love that this year. You know, copper is really pretty, isn't it? You have to say yeah because yeah. I can't hear you, goon. Lord. Anyway, um, blue, of course, as you can see, is more of the goldens, oranges. Oh, it looks good. Everybody, let's look. Let me take a... Next, what we want to do is contour. Let me get down here in the bottom. I... Oh, my <laughs> God. Here, I'm going to do a foolproof here. Here's the NARS. If you guys... If you all do not own one of these brushes, please order it. Because if you want to contour and highlight, this is, makes it foolproof. It really... Look at that. Huh? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to have her go and define her shape of her face by going down in the bottom three and she's going to pick the one that she thinks is best. I would almost go in between these two, but you want to go a little bit darker than what you would typically wear because we're going to blend it in. So like I'm going to do this for her because she makes me nervous. So I want you to make the fish face. Like a really dramatic face. <laughs> ah, like a, yeah. And then what I'll do is, that is where your line's gonna go. And it goes all the way from the holes of your cheeks that you make the fish face, all the way to the middle of your ear. Okay, okay, relax your fish. And then what we wanna do is we wanna definitely cover, turn your head toward me. We definitely want to come down along the, the neckline and cover any kind of imperfections down there. Usually by the time you're our age, you know, we got imperfections everywhere. You hear my little piggy down here underneath the... Tanky's underneath your 
grunting like a pig. Then you want to go up the sides of your head to, to thin out the sides of your head. She has a she has a pretty good forehead as you can tell so we don't want to like we don't want emphasize her it. yeah we don't want to emphasize it so I'm not going to contour her forehead like a lot of people do so now what we want to do is just kind of blend this all in <laughs> as you can tell look in the mirror there it can you tell the difference as far as she has to get right up on it yeah I see what the the lines are going. Okay, then what we want to do is we take a little brush like this, and this is a MAC brush. I don't know what number it is. I think it's like an E12 or something. I don't know. Anyway, and with that contour palette, the same thing, we want to just come down. I don't really go all crazy with the nose contouring because, you know, really, we don't have the paparazzi following us around. Well, I mean, we do, but we don't want to tell anybody. Mr. F is, he's notorious for following us around. And what I do is just put some and then I just take my finger and rub that in. Sorry. Now is this going to be an everyday look? Yeah, I mean, I do it every day. Get up earlier. Okay. <laughs> And then what we want to do is blush. So here's your blush brush. And I have been hearing, I think we talked about this the other day. I have been hearing all these young girls like, oh, it's put on the apple. Oil. Forget that. Okay, we're trying to get out of the apple of the damn cheeks. We want to thin ass our face out a little bit. When you're in your 20s, and you have cute little thin faces, yeah, you can wear little rosy cheeks. But when you're in your 50s and your face looks like this, we don't want to emphasize that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Some of us are closer to our 50s. Well, that, that's true. Okay, so um, if, just put your blush on like at an angle, but don't, you don't want to go past about this mark right here. So you don't want to, you want to keep this all highlighted in the middle. Like where I normally do? Yeah. So you want to go, yeah, about like that and come down. There. That's pretty. Now, now, that's a lot. It looks like a lot. Calm down. Now, what I want you to do is you take your brush and you just rub it on like a uh, tissue. I have a whole desk here that has a, a towel. And e gently now look in the mirror and just kind of blend it in but that's gently don't go outside the line just kind of blend it in to like wipe off any excess and believe it or not it looks like a lot to you but just remember that it's really not that much whenever you go to take pictures if you're going to go take pictures or if someone is going to see you that you haven't seen in a while you want to wear a little bit extra I promise especially the picture thing wear more makeup than what you will ever imagine if you're going to get your picture done look at that look at that isn't it that is really pretty that turned out really nice you like it moving on okay she likes it I look like a clown no you don't no no I think it looks nice here we go Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to, we're going to move under her eyes, we want to find a brush that will put the makeup on, like pack it on, and then we want to find a blender brush. A blender brush is, is real long and real flexible. That's what you're going to use after you put the, put the makeup on. A packer brush is what I call it. it. It's real dense and short so that you can either go in you know straight or sideways or whatever and get it on there matte is the best to wear especially if you're in the you older. know older yeah more mature. mature woman a matte eyeshadow is better because it doesn't show the creases as much doesn't show the wrinkles <sighs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so we want to, this is an everyday look she wants, so we want to find two or three shades. One is our base, 
two is our crease and three is our highlight up near our brow bone. So you want to find um, kind of a, a base that is either, you know, it depends if you wanted to go nude, like she's getting ready to go the brownish nude colors, then you want to go the lightest brown or the lightest apricot or, you know what I mean? It's up to you. I think you would go this color. For the, for the lid. It goes over the entire lid. And yeah, you just rub it on or brush it on the entire lid. Don't forget that when you go to put your makeup on, if you don't want your pigment to be really strong, if you don't want the color to be real strong, just stick your brush in there and tap the side of the, you know, container. Because if you don't, all of that powder, all of that color is going to go on your eye. Nice. Okay, so what we want to do is exactly, we want to put something in our crease color to start with. You always want to start in crease because the other colors you're going to be blending out. So oh, I always go backwards. I, I do my highlight and then my lid and then my crease. Okay. That's the crease side. Okay, we want to go to either the darkest brown or the black. I would say darkest brown. And what you want to do is you want to go and shove that. Literally shove it in that crease and go back and forth like a this just put it in there put a little bit more on your on your thing on your brush here and all you're doing you're not going to blend it with this brush you're just putting it on with this brush don't blend it with this brush oh. and just put it on the other side la 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 okay good 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 okay now with the same brush, put a little bit more of that on there and then just kind of tap it off because what, what I'm going to have her do is down underneath, go along the, the lash line down underneath and it kind of gives it a smoky effect. Down here? Mm-hmm. The bottom lash line. Just just kind of put a little bit of that. Don't have to be perfect. Just put a little bit of that um, same color on the lash line on the bottom. But not in the, see, and, but not in the water line. Okay. What we want to do is take our blender brush and where you put that in the crease, just kind of go back and forth and blend that in a little bit. Just gently, you don't have to push real hard. Awesome. Looks good, look up in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Okay, and we want to take the highlight and you want to go up near the brow bone. And when you do white or cream, you don't want to rub it. You want to pat it and pack it on up near. So you want to do the white, I'm sure. Yeah. Because for whatever reason, white, whenever you go back and forth, it doesn't stay on your eyeball. And then I get all upset. And Now, she has a, the ability with her skin tone to wear the... Um, glitter or you know, I mean seriously you know I can't vibrant colors well no what I was going to suggest is I have this cream eyeshadow since you're since you're here um I thought maybe you could show the video I have the cream eyeshadow she could either put this on which is really dramatic or she could go over her base coat right right up to the crease with this and it, it actually is really pretty, so do that. Take that out, and it's like a brush or like a lip gloss. And just cover your base coat, see what I mean, up to mm -hmm. the crease color. But try to do it as gently, gently as possible so it doesn't, like, go everywhere. So, typically, you could do matte... You could do matte like to the office or go to work with matte color on and then if you're going to go out for drinks after work you could actually see that looks good you could actually carry this and this is um hard candy too you can get it at walmart you could carry some in your purse and all you'd have to do is just put that on it it seriously does do a dramatic change you know what i mean okay um one last thing that you didn't do was we could do we could Here's the other option. We could put underneath, but I don't think it should go like in your eye. So I think you should take more of a smaller brush and take one of the bigger colors to go underneath the little bit under your eye. That way you don't go in your eye. I 
have a couple different things. If you have never done a cat eye, but you want to, but you're nervous, you have a couple different options. You can get the gel and a small, small brush. But I recommend that you start with either um, voluminous eyeliner pen that looks like a felt tip marker or a brush and you get them and they're waterproof like this because you have more control over over it than what you think you know what I mean I have tons of them down here but I think that here's the other one I think this one is really cool yeah I think we're going to use this one okay so this one again it looks like a pen I mean that's what it and it's waterproof that way if you have allergies like me you gotta wear okay so what we want to do is the easiest way that I can tell you to learn how to do this is with dots okay and what you want to do is you want to start with the inside corner of your eye on your upper lid right at the lash line make a little, wee little tiny dot right above the inside corner of your eye just a little dot and then go at the beginning of your color and make a dot okay go to the middle of your eyeball and make a dot go to the outer rim of your color and then of course the outer rim of your eye mm -hmm. no go up a little bit just yeah okay then what we want to do is we want to connect the dots you just want to draw a line and connect the dots Okay, and stop at the dot. Okay, boom. See how easy that was? So now what we want to do is we want to take the outer rim of the eye and we want to come up to where your eyebrow starts. We want to do that angle. So you want to go from the outer rim of your eye up to your your brow. You, you see you see that angle right there? Yeah. Okay, so, but we don't want to draw that far up. But I wanted to show you that's the that's the angle that you're going to do. And you want to go up to the crease line. So you just want to do a oh, line yeah. just real faintly up to the crease. Stop right there. Okay? Now what what you need to do and I'm going to do it for cuz now what you need to do is just make that line more straight okay look look down in the mirror see how that line can went up like that mm -hmm. now here's a what you want to do is you want to connect this is where the tricky part comes you want to connect that tip of that line to about oh about middle of your pupil so you take the the dot or the side there and you go all the way in and then you just fill it in And if you could lean in there and do the inside part, fix that inside part. We mean fix the the inside of your eye. No, not the outside. That in yeah. See how that's okay. Fill that in there. There. Awesome sauce. Look, look up in the, and that is the how you do a cat eye. So you want to do the other side as well. And start with the dots. Or go across you may not have to do the dots if you're comfortable you don't have to do the dots I mean but if you've never done it before start with the dots I'm telling you it's it's so much easier then don't forget the angle of your cat eye wing and your wing is going to be from the outer corner of your eye pointed to the outer point of your eyebrow 
but you only want to go that line up to the crease line. Awesome. Then you want to take your crease, that end of that wing, and bring it down to the middle part of your eyeball on your line. Fill that in. Once you get the hang of it, I'm telling you, it is absolutely easy. Now, if you're unfortunate, you may fill it in. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> so see how she did really well right there. Her her wing is almost perfect. But the thing of it is, I have hooded eyes. People with hooded eyes, unfortunately, they say you look okay with them. You don't. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. There. She is fortunate and does not have any hood in her eye. The winch. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to set that and then we want to do the bottom. You can use this on the bottom, but I don't think it looks as good as actual pencil. You know what I mean? Because that is real, real bright and vibrant. Whereas the, this is again, just my preference. She's not going to go like all over the bottom and like the eighties. She's going to only do a line on the actual lash line. So where she put those two collars earlier, that's how, she, that's where she's going to take this black line liner pencil and she's just going to use it gently just over the lash line there because we don't want to we don't want to dramatize the bottom because we put the cat eye on the top you know looks good okay so the next thing you want to do is have you <laughs> She can't even see to put the lid back on here and look at her makeup. Looks good. Okay. Have you ever used um, false eyelashes? No. I can't get them on. But you will today. Because I ordered something, y'all. It is... If you have a hard time with eyelashes, this is going to blow your mind. It, order a pair or go down to Sally's and get the self-adhesive eyelashes okay because they have enough adhesive on them to where you can get them to stick the first time that's where it boils down to so take a hold take a hold of the actual lash go over your put it position it over your lashes go as close to the line as at your lash line as you can and then you can just start with one side usually the inside of your lashes is easier and just pull it down next to your lash line exactly I can't see my lash line and then just push it on look up now look in the mirror what look how easy that was and just a minute it'll it'll stick there well the inside wasn't touching Once you get it on your lash line, you can you have a little bit more flexibility to push. You know, looks good. And do the same thing. Just grab a hold of the lashes gently, go above your lash line, lay it on top of your lashes, and then take your fingers and go on the inside of your lash line and push it as close to the line as you can. Now she just said that she has never been able to get lashes to stick or to go on and. You got you all saw it within two minutes. She has them on there. You don't have to worry about them getting perfect. She does looks great. She is getting ready to put mascara on. She has a winged eyeliner, so as you see, it totally changes her appearance. Okay, let me get her a disposable. Kathy and I are best friends. Been best friends for years but we do not use the same nothing mascara nothing it just does not work we use the same mascara but we don't use the same wand so i buy disposable wands for when she comes down to do her makeup so here's your wand um and i i like a couple different make a couple different mascaras i think I i'm gonna use that one okay you do wow well. Let's use Essence because it's really good. I don't use that brush, but mine's green. Yeah. 
I got some new mascara the other day. It's called Essence um, Lash Princess. That's all right. Uh, yeah. Dude, now when you put this on the bottom, go jiggle back and forth. No, that's up and down. I'm jiggling back and forth. You are not jiggling. People, you're seeing it. Not jiggling. Now she's jiggling. Jiggle back and forth, people. Look at that. Look in the mirror. What? Look at that. You saw it. I didn't do it. She did it. It took two seconds. I have a feeling that I'm about to lose these lashes, by the way, because she will take them home and not bring them <laughs> back. Okay. Now, as far as color of the lips, we're going to do the lips. Kathy is notorious for killing me about the fuchsia color. However, I got her some color so that she'll shut up about it. She could either do purples. I think purple would look pretty because it's kind of the new 2015 mauve. Way with mauve, people. So we could either do, we can try the purple or I got either bright pink, which we could do later, like in summer. I say purple lit up. I just bought this one. I love purple. Purple oh, is so pretty. Okay, so why don't we use that? This uh, Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm Purple. It doesn't feel good. It feels so, so good. So all you have to do, seriously, it's like a crayon. I am not kidding. All you have to do is just put it on like a crayon over your lips. Where I regularly put my lipstick. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you don't have the paparazzi following you around, you don't need to overline your lips, people. I'm sorry that if your lips are skinny, I'm sorry that they're thin, I'm sorry. But unless you have a professional showing you how to overdraw your lips, stop it. What you can do is take a lighter shade of the same color family and just put on the very inside of your lip once you get the lip done. Like what we're gonna do, she used a darker purple and I'm going to have her go on the inside, just on the very inside, right under the cupid's bow. And she's going to just dab this, because it's gloss. She's just going to dab this a little bit. And what it will do is give a 3D effect to her lipstick and make her lips appear a little bit bigger. Just on, like on the inner part of your lip, like on the inner right here. Yeah. Just dab it in there and up on the upper part uh, on the inside. And then just kind of, you know, do the kissy motion, not rub it, yeah. And see how that, look in the mirror, see how that made your lips look bigger. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, there it is. Proof is in the pudding, right there. She did it herself. Oh, my God. She, she definitely just showed me. You're right. Eyebrows. I do, do you like... You're going to do it my way. I absolutely am in love with... Everybody's using this dip brow from Anastasia. And I think that's great. But e.l.f. has the same exact thing that the waxy... I absolutely love it. Um, but I do use a Sephora uh, brush. The small angled brush is the best ever. So there's that. You can use mine. That ain't on the inner part. And so e.l.f. has one. It's, it's medium light and medium and this is waxy feeling so it just so it'll be like my stick yeah it'll just glide right on so you want to use the the pen or the brush put the angle like that and you just want to cover dip it in the in the um dark brown and you just want to go over your uh you okay she don't have to worry about like drawing them like i do because her 
eyebrows I have been envious of for absolutely probably 20 years, she'll tell you. I have wanted her eyebrows forever, and so I have to be the one, unfortunately, sit there and, like, make up what my eyebrows should look like, whereas she just is going to draw over, over hers. Winch. A little drinky while we're waiting. <laughs> She'll be ready to go. She'll be wanting to go out to eat or something. The brush is too long. No, the brush is just right. Her arms are too short. No, I can't get the mirror close enough to my face to see it. You know what? You're bringing up a really good point. I had a I had a person ask me one time, what happens if you can't see? Like, you know, like when you were young, you didn't have to have a 10 magnification mirror. Unfortunately, they really, there's not very many options. And I, I really do believe, I would love to see a, like a mirror come out for the mature woman that is nothing but like a 100 mag, you know what I mean? Because it's very hard to see. But, but they do, what they do make those eyeglass things. Have you ever seen those where you you buy yeah, them and like they a, fold down? A reading glass. I don't need a reading. I mean, I wonder if you could buy them like with your prescription. I know I can't put my glasses on with the eyelashes on. So what do you think? The blush is still a little much for me. I think it looks really nice. But I do like this purple, so I will be wearing it on the next vine trip. Yeah, the purple is very pretty. But see the glasses. What you but they're darker, so they You know what? If you go like and do your makeup like this, they'd be on a contact day, definitely, because the eyelashes are gonna hit the back of the glasses. You know what well, I mean? And the tent. There's that little bit of a tent. Yeah. So it kinda mutes my colors down a little bit. But I'll take a picture of her without her glasses on so that she can see when she does get home you know what i mean because she's not she, without her glasses she can't see jack so we're gonna sign off here was it easy be honest it was easy easier than i thought okay subscribe people down below down below oh before we go kathy is now a full-fledged certified registered nail tech what let me get it whoop whoop passed the test i was in the car the entire gd time i was out there crimping my hair or whatnot but anyway she passed the test so if you're in the area there it is hook her up with a little bit of something something <laughs> say, well, not only that, I need mine done free, and if she don't get any business, I don't get free product. <laughs>